Hey everybody, this is Joshua from tinyhousebasics.com and today we are gonna do another tiny house trailer tour. This trailer we have is a 34 foot triple axle, 21,000 pound capacity. It also has an eight and a half foot wide deck. So on all of our tiny house trailers, you can choose the width of deck that you want. This customer chose the max width of 102 inches wide. So come along, let's take a tour. And for more information, make sure to go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com where you can request a tiny house trailer quote for any of our sizes from 10 feet all the way up to 56 feet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer. And so 34 feet by 102 inches wide, that's gonna give you 289 square feet. Our tiny house right there is only 224 square feet for the bottom level. So this is much, much bigger. So this is a very, very cool trailer. So first off, we'll start at the front. So right here is the coupler. This is two and five sixteenths coupler. That's what we use on all of our tiny house trailers. Uh, this one is a little bit different though because the customer requested an adjustable coupler. So you can actually raise and lower the hitch to match your vehicle. Now my truck actually has an adjustable coupler. So I didn't even mess with this. I just left it at how it came. And then I adjusted my hitch to match the trailer. Another benefit about this is you can actually remove these bolts and when you're building, you can put some locks through here. So some extra security, so nobody drives off with your trailer or your tiny house. All of the trailer standard are gonna have some safety chains. We have a seven way connector. So this is your electrical connection for your brakes, your running lights, your backup battery and your turn signals. And then on the right hand side, we have our safety breakaway kit. Now all of our trailers have this. This will loop through your truck this will loop through the hitch, come back around. You can lock it in right here. And then so the event that the trailer gets disconnected from the truck, this will just yank out. It'll use a battery backup and it'll lock all the brakes so the trailer comes to a stop. Here's our 5,000 pound jack. Uh, this is also a drop leg jack. So it just makes it a little bit easier when you are uh, taking it off the truck. You don't have to crank, as, crank the jack as much and you just pull out the pin, drop the foot, lock it up, and then crank it off. This one has a four foot standard tongue. We also have an optional tongue, which is five feet long. It's called our extended tongue. And it adds, it adds an extra foot to the tongue and it's only $100. So that is beneficial if you plan on having like a little storage shed right here, or you wanna put propane tanks or an AC um, outdoor unit. By doing the extended tongue, you have a little bit more extra room. We also have some designs that customers have uh, built where they'll have like a little bump out, like a little office nook. We have that, um, some pictures of those on our website. Um, so that is nice too, to have the extended tongue. So it allows for more area if you wanna move out the house a little bit more in the frame. This trailer, because it is a 34 foot trailer, it has eight inch main frame beams running from the front to the back. So the buildable deck on this trailer is 34 feet. And then with the tongue, we add it all up, we get 38 feet. But the buildable surface area is 34 feet by 102 inches wide. Coming back to the fenders, you can really see that the fenders are 102 inches wide. And then the deck is the full width. So you can actually select how wide you want your deck and it's no additional charge. So this is 102 inches wide, it's flush with the outer fenders. Uh, this gives you the most buildable room. So with siding and trim, if you do a 102 inch wide deck with siding and trim, you're gonna be over that legal limit. So technically you would have to get a permit on any tiny house that is over eight and a half feet wide. But if you do plan on traveling often with your tiny house, we always recommend a 98 inch wide or a 99 inch wide deck. Um, you could even do 100 inches wide if you have a thinner style uh, metal uh, siding. Um, but this customer, it's 34 feet, 102 inches wide. They actually have a parking spot on the Oregon coast. It's pretty much gonna be there permanently temporary. Now, if you remember our tiny house right here, it's been in this location for four years. So we're kind of the same boat. This is 28 feet long 
eight and a half feet wide, so we're also permanently temporary. So for us to pull a permit, in most states it ranges anywhere from about $14 to 30 bucks to pull a wide load permit. It wasn't that big of a deal for us because we never intended to travel with our tiny house. We always intended to travel because of it. So going back to the trailer, this one also has drop axles. So we'll see right in here, you get, we have a drop spindle. So the deck actually sits a lot lower. It sits four inches lower. Let's see if you can see that right in there. So the deck actually sits four inches lower than our standard trailer. That gives it a 22 inch high deck height. And I'll show you that right here. Just at 22 inches off the ground. Now, if you get standard axles on our tiny house trailers, the deck height will be 26 inches. The only changes is with drop axles, your fender is gonna sit a little bit higher off of the deck. Now, it's gonna be the same height and relative to the ground, but because the trailer is dropped down, the fenders will be a little bit higher. So when you're framing over, you're just gonna have a four inch increase. So the height of the fenders is about 14 inches off the deck of the trailer. Now a question that many people ask, if you're getting drop axles, are they not as strong as the straight axle counterpart? And the truth is they're equally strong. All of our trailers, when you're getting a, say a 21,000 pound capacity trailer like this one, and you wanna upgrade to drop axles, you're gonna get 21,000 pounds of capacity with drop axles. So every axle is getting when it goes to a drop axle, you're getting the same load carrying capability as a straight axle. The cost on our drop axles are $125 per axle. So on a triple axle like this, it's gonna be $375 to do that upgrade. All of the bigger capacity trailers are gonna have 16 inch rims. Then the tires are 23580 R16s. These are all radial tires. And you can see right here, this trailer also has added flashing. Now we have that available from several of our locations. And this is welded and painted to match the trailer. So the purpose of the flashing, it's basically a belly pan and it allows an area that you could put insulation inside. So you can lay your insulation in the inner deck and also the outriggers. So they're both the same and then you could um, lay your plywood subfloor across the deck. You can glue and screw it to the trailer frame and then start framing your walls up from there. And on the flashing, we intentionally do not seal all around it. That is because if you do get water inside the belly, it allows a place for the water to come out. So whether you are getting flashing on the trailer at the factory and we include it, or you're putting it on yourself, we always recommend leaving some area for water to come out if it does leak from your house and into the subfloor. Going back to the trailer, that is our Tiny House Basics seal of approval. Go to our website, tinyhousebasics.com to request a Tiny House trailer quote. And you may see some similarities in the logo to the original tiny house right there. And if you haven't yet, Definitely pick up our book on Amazon. It's a bestseller, Tiny House Basics, Living the Good Life in Small Spaces. This will definitely help you plan accordingly your tiny house build. It'll also help guide you with a lot of tips and tricks and decide what size trailer is best for you. And also whether you wanna build yourself, have a shell built for you, or have the full entire tiny house built by a builder. So definitely check this out. It's usually around $13 on Amazon. Pick it up today.
Thank you for coming along on another tiny house trailer tour. To request a quote and get more information, go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com. You could also find us on Instagram at tinyhousebasics and also on Facebook at tinyhousebasics. We build over 450 of these tiny house trailers every year. They're available in sizes from 10 feet all the way up to 56 feet. We also do special 10 foot wide tiny house trailers. So go to our website, start your journey off on the right foot at tinyhousebasics.com. Thank you.